Hi there, welcome to the cabin. My name is Mo, and today I'm gonna be not really redesigning, but giving an official design to uh, one of my characters, Cricket. I mostly do comics. I've been making them or trying to since 2016, and through revamping the stories and revamping the designs, I have slowly but surely gotten better at character design. You guys really seem to like my last video about character design, so I decided I'd do it again. Maybe I'll make it some kind of a series. I don't know, it's fun and I enjoy it, and I get to talk about these characters, which I like a lot. Last time I did a redesign of one of my worst character designs, uh, Scatterbrain, from my very first comic fantasy. Today, however, I'm gonna be kind of redesigning a character that I made in early 2020. I guess not too early, June of 2020. I made Cricket in the midst of a story crisis. This was back when I really had no idea what kind of story I wanted to make and it was really taking a toll on my mental health, so I decided to take a break from attempting to write and instead just make a character to have fun with. And so, Cricket was born! The idea behind Cricket is that he is a demon, but he's not a really good one, and he's not really a hostile one, just kind of annoying is what I imagine him to be. He kind of has the energy of like a cat who just needs attention all the time, but hates you once you give it to them. So I had been drawing Cricket for a while. He's kind of like a pop-up character. I don't draw him consistently, but I do enjoy drawing him. I feel like whenever I do draw him, I draw him in like a, I don't know what the word is cartoony style. I, I'm not sure what it is about their character that just makes me draw him super cartoony, but it happens pretty much every time I draw them, so. Cricket's a really fun character to draw and I enjoy drawing them a lot, but I never had a very stable design for him, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm giving him a color palette, an official design, and that's all. That's all I'm doing. So, as I said, I made Cricket in June of 2020 in the midst of a story crisis. So he's, I guess, kind of a comfort character for me. Um, a lot of my characters are comfort characters for me because I love them, but he uh, feels a bit different. He always ends up being the character I draw when I'm feeling sad or overwhelmed or anything. Usually when I'm feeling insecure in my art, I'll draw him because for some reason it's easy for me to draw really flexibly with him. So it's just a fun time. <laughs> Unlike a lot of my characters though, Cricket doesn't really have much of a story. And I've never really felt compelled to give him much of a story, which is kind of nice, because uh, I don't have a lot of characters that I can just draw and have fun with and not worry about a story for them. I have somewhat of an idea, but nothing's really set in stone. Pretty much the only thing that I know about what his backstory is, is that he was summoned by a girl named Briar and now they're stuck together. <laughs> I don't know the motivations or the reason, but their dynamic is kind of like Briar's kind of sick of him. I imagine that's because he's not exactly what she expected as an almighty demon, because again, he's kind of a lousy demon. Not in his mind though, he likes he likes who he is, but uh, by hell's standards, he's not a very good demon, which I feel like he's okay with. I feel like maybe he makes it his goal to be as shit of a demon as he possibly can. Not sure why he would want to do that, but you know, he seems like the kind of character to want to do that kind of thing, so. Whenever I drew Cricket, I kind of imagined him with a red color palette, which is why when I ended up giving him a blue sweater, it surprised me. But it worked better. Because his fur and everything was kind of like a dark red tone, uh, the blue just looked better in contrast because it was opposite on the color wheel. So it worked better. You can see though at some point that I, I was switching between red and blue a lot because <laughs> I don't, it was really conflicting. I had always imagined him as like a red kind of thing, but the blue just looked so much nicer and it was, it was calling me. It was calling me, but the red is like, oh, but hell, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I ended up going with blue because it looks better. It also doesn't help that red and blue are equally both my favorite colors. So when it comes to choosing between the two of them, it's a difficult choice. You may notice I took away some elements of his design in the sketches that are on the left, uh, such as the horns and the long tail. I always wanted him to have a beanie because I don't know, it just seems like a thing a chill person wears and he's a pretty chill person. So I gave him a beanie, but I also didn't know how functional that would be if he also had horns. So I decided to take away the horns so that he could just have his beanie. They also didn't add a whole lot and I wanted to see if I could still make him look kind of demonic, but without very, uh, What's that word? Stereotypical demon-like features, such as a long pointed tail and horns. Sometimes I think it's important to take away certain stereotypes with certain types of characters to see if you can still portray that that character is a specific type of character without leaning into the stereotypes. That was a whole, that was a mess of a sentence, but I hope it made sense. I like doing that and I try to do it as much as I can because it pushes me to think of other ways to portray that character the way that I want them to without being too stereotypical. I think it's a good way to expand your creativity 
creativity and challenge your character design skills. So while we're on that topic, I decided to add little poofs at the end of his ears. They ca it kind of made him look like a lynx in the end, because um, I gave him a short tail as well. But I gave him these little poofs um, that kind of curl inwards, so they look like devil horns, but they also kind of look like little flames. And I thought that was cool, because sometimes I see character designs where demons have like flame coming off of the end of their horns, and I've always really liked that concept, but I didn't want to add horns, so I wanted to see if I could kind of mesh the two ideas together. I think it turned out looking pretty cool. Also, I get to draw little poofs at the end of his ears, and that's always been fun, so. Maybe in his demon world, when you complete your first uh, possession assignment or something, those little poofs turn into actual flames. I think that'd be cool. Maybe. Lore? Hey, I don't know. Maybe that's the reason he doesn't want to be a good demon, because he likes how they look already and doesn't want them to change. <laughs> That'd be cute. Like his motivation isn't, I want to be a good person. It's, I, I like the way that I look and I don't want to change that. So I'm good. And then poor Briar, who probably went through a lot to summon him is just like, well, I guess I'm just stuck with you now. Since I decided not to give him a long tail and horns, I wanted to see how far I could push other demonic features that he has, such as his eyes and teeth. Expressions to me will always be one of the most important things in character design because you can tell a lot just from the way that somebody's looking at you. They can look nice, but if they're giving you that side eye, you know they're a bitch, you know? <laughs> Every time I draw him, I give him a big old smile, but not a not a very welcoming smile, so I gave him this kind of crazed look. One of his eyes I made kind of squinting, because that's an expression I've been really into recently, is having one of the eyes kind of squinting and the other one just wide open. So I, I like how it turned out. Also, something I discovered is that when a character is trying to look threatening, sometimes having their eyebrows like pointed up as if they're happy makes them look scarier, because they don't look angry when they should be. And I feel like when something directly goes against what you're expecting, especially in terms of a reaction from someone, that can be kind of threatening. <laughs> it's like when you break something and your mom's like, it's okay. I'm not mad. But you know she's mad, but she looks so sweet. That's fucking terrifying, dude. So I played into that. I also tried to incorporate some more shape language. I don't usually intentionally use shape language. I mean, I do, and but I don't realize until later. But I wanted to make an effort to add shape language into this one, which is why I eventually gave him some patterning on his fur so I can add more spiked features. His hair and face was already pretty spiky and his legs kind of too <laughs> were kind of spiky, if that makes sense, I don't know. A lot of villain type characters have a a lot of uh, triangle shape language. So kind of spiky, sharp features. Sometimes that directly correlates with their personality. If they have a prickly personality, maybe add some sharp features in there. Kind of the opposite logic of when you want a character to look really soft, you give them very round features so they look approachable and huggable. When you want a character to look kind of menacing, you want them to look as uncomfortable. No, that's not the right word. <laughs> You want them to look sharp, not soft is what I mean. And then I, I gave him a little tail because I felt like his legs were already pretty long and I didn't want to, I didn't want to clash against that and a short tail kind of suits him, you know? Kind of, I don't know why, just kind of suits him. So I gave him a little tail, which I thought was very cute. I think his little tail makes him look a lot less menacing than if he had a long tail. I don't know why, I just think it's a lot cuter. So it, it makes him look less hostile and more just, you know, mischievous. I think the blue does a good job of that too, because red is generally a more, it's more of an angry color. So think Raph from the, was it 2013? I think it was 2013, the 3D animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show. He was very angry in that. And blue is a very calm color, which makes sense because, you know, Leo was like the leader. I don't know. I didn't watch that version of the show. But anyway, red is typically pretty angry and threatening. And blue is usually depicted as like a calm and comforting color. So putting our good old cricket into a blue sweater really, I think, made him look nicer and more approachable. Anyway, that's all the time I have for today. I gotta get back to doing some college work. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're feeling generous, maybe consider subscribing. It helps get my work out there and that could open up some pretty cool opportunities opportunities for me. You can find all my socials in the description and on the screen along with where you can find my comic. Thank you for hanging out. You keep my life bright, my lights. Bye!